gossip. <laughs> What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the 423. Today I am speechless. I think I just saw the funniest video I've ever seen in my life and I don't know what to say right now, so I'm just going to show it to you first and I'll catch up with you after. Um, I'm really excited to use it because I do still feel some of the makeup on and I know that this will fix it. So I am just applying now. This is honestly just to prevent me from getting a pimple tomorrow. I don't usually wear makeup if I'm not working, but today I am working. So, if you want to look somewhat presentable, I'm going to go wash off. Okay, so I just wiped that off and now I'm going to do the clean magic face wash. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm applying now. Okay, and now oh, you all you immediately feel better. Okay, now I'm going to wash it off. Okay, and now I'm gonna put on the Dreamy Do Moisturizer. It's my favorite part of my skincare routine. Is then moisturizing my skin after a long day. It needs refreshing, and that is what Florence does for my skin. Okay, so now that's on. I'm going to put... Oh, my hands are slippy. Now I'm going to put on the Glow Yeah Lip Oil. So, Millie Bobby Brown just launched her vegan skincare line for teenage girls called Florence by Mills. The line is named after her great-grandmother and features both makeup and skincare for girls like her who are quote-unquote playing with how we want to look, feel, and live. To celebrate the launch of her new line, Millie filmed herself doing a quick and easy nighttime skincare routine to show herself off using the products she supposedly worked so hard on, using an array of things from her line including a face mist, scrub, face wash, moisturizer, and lip oil. So if you didn't catch what was going on here, Millie Bobby Brown filmed herself pretending to do her skincare routine. This girl is scrubbing away at her face with a whole lot of imagination and no actual product in her hands. I don't know how she thought people wouldn't notice this, and more importantly, how bad are her products that she doesn't even want them to touch her? And if that's the case, why not use a different face wash and proceed with the tutorial as if you're using Florence by Mills? There's no way this mock application was her best option. And even if it was, why didn't the dozens of people who are surely working with this 15-year-old tell her that this video was obviously a bad look? It's also interesting to me that in the video, she talks about how she doesn't wear makeup on her days off from work. Like I said, she's a teenager, so that's not uncommon, but why then does she feel the need to start a makeup line? I get that she's a child, and to me this is more hilarious than something that she should be condemned for, but it does point to a larger issue of influencers and celebrities endorsing products or even starting whole companies in fields that they actually know nothing about. In the words of Kanye West, I like some of the Gaga songs. What the fuck does she know about cameras? I don't expect rich people to start affordable skincare lines and actually use the products they're selling for their own daily routine, but if you can't even use it once, then there's a serious issue. And this is something that keeps on happening. Kylie Jenner was heavily criticized for her Kylie Skin videos, where she actually used her own products, but she still had heaps of makeup on her face and her towel afterward, showing a not-so-great representation of what she was trying to sell. Her sister, Kendall Jenner, is an ambassador for Proactive now, and she actually used to have acne, so this isn't something that I would have a problem with off the bat, but we saw similar fails from her doing a skincare routine and washing those Proactive products off her face just as quickly as she put them on. This Millie Bobby Brown nighttime routine in particular reminded me immediately of that hilarious video that Shay Mitchell did where she pretended to wipe off her makeup and clearly didn't even touch her face. These cleansing waters deep clean and remove stubborn makeup all in one. And I've obviously tried my fair share of makeup removers, but these are by far my favorite. 
even waterproof mascara and leaves my skin feeling so fresh and so and in the future, we have makeup lines coming from Hailey Bieber, Selena Gomez, and other celebrities that have showed no interest in the makeup world before now, suddenly loving it enough to launch an entire company. I think the world of makeup and skincare is already so terribly saturated that I honestly can't imagine any of these celebrities launching anything life-changing or worth more than just a quick money grab from fans. It's one shady thing to do a quick Instagram post for a product that you know damn well you don't use, but it's another to put your name on a product and sell it as something that came directly from you when you don't even want it touching your face. I just want to see more celebrities launching products that actually make sense. I love Tracy Ellis Ross launching her new hair care line, Pattern Beauty. I think that it makes perfect sense and she seems genuinely excited about it. And I just wish more famous people would do these things because they're passionate about them and not just because they can. But that's asking a lot. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. What did Millie Bobby Brown think she was doing here? And what are your thoughts on celebrities endorsing products that they clearly don't use? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to the 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.